Welcome to the latest Watercolors Aquarium Gallery video brought to you from the Aquarium Rush Studios in downtown Grand Rapids, Michigan. We are talking today about one of our favorite products. I think it's a product that everyone who has a saltwater tank should use. You know, everyone should use salt. Which salt? Eh, that's up in here. What about calcium? Well, there's lots of different ways to do calcium, but what's a product that this is the one? Yeah, I, uh, I got presents here for everyone. It's oh, called Props. Yay, <laughs> I like it. A, because these are a nice little reference while we're filming, but B, because they look cute. <laughs> so it's Aqua Vitro Fuel. Yes. This is the Aqua Vitro product that kind of started Aqua Vitro for me, because this is a really unique product. <laughs> it's, a, it's a pretty special one. So just a quick background on what Aqua Vitro is. Aqua Vitro is Seachem's redesigned line of products. Notice I didn't say advanced or updated, it's redesigned products um, for planet aquariums, for reef aquariums, lots of different situations. It is uh, only available through independent retailers. So you can't go on Amazon and buy this. If you do go on Amazon and buy it, you're buying it from someone who's selling it against Seachem's sale policy. That's not the only reason we like it, but it definitely helps. <laughs> I'm really glad we're having a conversation about this and having a video about this because this is one of the harder products for me to sell personally. It's really hard to explain to people what it is or to convince them to use an additive you can't test for. So what is it and what does it do? It's magic in a bottle. Oh, I'm <laughs> you're asking Charles. <laughs> um, so this hit my radar because of all that research I did for that clam video. This is great clam food, but it's designed as a coral food. <laughs> So it is, and I want to make sure I get the right pronunciation, ascorbic acid base with okay. corella in it. Basically, it's, uh, they use acid to dissolve algae parts. Yes. Right. And you know- Mild acid. <laughs> it's okay. It's, it's, a, it's okay. <laughs> uh, so then the first train of thought you need to think about is, what's the base of an ecosystem on a reef? Algae. Funny. <laughs> So that means that all those things, like, and I'm just gonna quick read random things off, iodine, iron, uh, manganese, uh, thiamine, niacin. It's all there. It's all there. <laughs> That's the base of the food chain. It's the base of the food chain. Corals can get almost all of their nutritional need from photosynthesis. Right. Notice the careful qualifier there. Right. Almost all. Almost. <laughs> So in cases where you're like, man, my coral seems to be doing okay, but there's no, like the colors just aren't popping. Add a little gas. Add a little gas. Because that sort of color just happens when the coral's doing well. <laughs> <laughs> so you're basically, uh, man, I really don't wanna get into this, but I have to. Yeah. So when you're dealing with corals and clams and other photosynthetic organisms like that, they, the animal itself is not the photosynthetic part. It's their symbiotic uh, zooxanthellae. So when you're trying to get colors out of corals, you're trying to balance actual tissue colors from the coral and the greenish browns and sometimes reds that you get from those zooxanthellae. So if they're getting all of their nutrition from the zooxanthellae, what color are they gonna be? Brown. Brown. If they can get a little bit of their nutrition from other sources and their tissues, like the tissue of the coral itself is thicker, what kind of colors do you see? All the colors of the rainbow. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't really know how much more to get into this other than start sparingly because mm -hmm. your ecosystem and your reef is unique and you don't want to suddenly influx a bunch of new nutrients that aren't going to get used up, because what do you get when you do that? A mess. A mess. <laughs> <laughs> My usual recommendation for if someone's starting out with fuel is uh, they've, got a, they've got great dosing instructions on the back. Start at about half that. Uh, I've been quiet over here because when you said it's an algae dissolved in an acid, I had the realization of, is this basically tang poop? <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just algae broken down and reintroduced into the ecosystem. 
I mean, I, yeah. that's not completely <laughs> far, you know? I think the tame digestive system might extract some of the stuff Probably left over. Probably some of the theory, nutrients. <laughs> yeah. That's you know. kind of basic, you know, ecology. Yeah. What it's feeds. the circle of what? life. <laughs> <laughs> Don't start singing, okay? Alright, I'll try. I'll save it for later. Alright, thanks. We have copyright issues we have to get into here. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Yeah, I completely lost the road. I think we were trying to wrap up. <laughs> the gist of this, of this product is it's definitely a product that uh, if we have a system that we're not dosing with fuel and the corals look good, we start dosing with fuel and the corals look great. And it's notable within a week of dosing. Uh, the change that those worlds are seeing. Oh, now I remember what I wanted to bring up. Of course you did. So in our podcast recording session last night, this product came up a lot. It did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, specifically revolving around, does it dose iodine? And I'm gonna say, uh, yeah, in yeah. a little bit. <laughs> so keep that in mind when you're thinking about things to dose. Uh, iodine is definitely not one of those things that you want to go too crazy with. It's very useful in the right combination, but it's really complicated. We will get into that at some point. I need to do some experimentation <laughs> here. Yeah. But uh, the gist of it is that one thing to keep in mind with iodine is that it's necessary for photosynthesis. So if there's an abundance of it, it's great for algae. Right. Well, there's a product that we truly endorse. There are, there are products out there that we like there are products out there that we think, hey, this is the best of this. And then there are those products that we think everyone in the week tank needs to have. This is one of those products. We like this so much that Ben is agreed to letting this be our first giveaway on the channel. That's right. So among my friend group, we refer to this product as the lysine contingency. If someone can come in to me and explain that reference, Adequately, Ben has agreed to allow me to give you a 350 milliliter bottle of aquaculture fuel to try. Well, the first person that can do it. The first, the first person. person that can do it. The first person. Only giving away one. And you have, it has to be me. Yep. And it has to be like, you have to have me satisfied that you do the reference. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. That's a good one. Well, I'm sure we'll see at least one of you geeks out there pretty soon. But uh, be sure in the meantime to check out the Watercolors Aquarium Gallery podcast. To check out us, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And as always, let's have lots of fun. Thank you so much for watching. Let's keep those hands wet. <laughs>